Question number one. What does this sign indicate? Now let's look at our answers. Option A, weight restriction. Option B, height restriction. Or option C, speed restriction. The correct answer is C. This sign indicates speed restriction. Question number two. Entering a robot controlled intersection when it is amber or red, you had already crossed the pedestrian crossing line. What must you do? Option A. Stay where you are. Option B. Turn to the left. Or option C. Or you reverse the vehicle. The correct answer is option A. Stay where you are. Question number three. What do you do at a flashing amber robot? Option A, give way to traffic from your left. Option B, give way to traffic from your right. Option C, give way to traffic from both sides. The correct answer is B. At a flashing amber robot, give way to traffic from your right. Let's move on to question number four. When do you dip your headlights? Option A, when traveling behind other traffic. Option B, when driving on a wet road. Option C, or under any condition. The correct answer is option A. You dip your headlights when traveling behind other traffic. Question number five. When going down a hill, what should you do? Should you disengage gears or engage lower gear or apply handbrake? The correct answer is B. When going down a hill, engage lower gear. Moving on to question number six. When involved in a serious accident, you should report the case to the police within a period of. Option A, 24 hours. Option B, 10 hours. Option C, or 12 hours. The correct answer is option A. When involved in a serious accident, you should report the case to the police within a period of 24 hours, Question number seven. When parked at a layby, what must you do? Option A, you put your headlights on. Option B, you put the brakes on. Option C, you put off the headlights and put on the park lights. The correct answer is C. When parked at a layby, you put off the headlights and put on the park lights.
Let's move on to question number eight. When traveling at 75 kilometers per hour, I must leave a gap of four vehicle lengths, seven vehicle lengths, or five vehicle lengths. The correct answer is C. When traveling at 75 kilometers per hour, I must leave a gap of five vehicle lengths. Question number nine. A speed restriction sign states that. Now let's look at our answers. Option A, you should drive at above the stated speed. Option B, you must not exceed the stated speed. Or option C, the stated speed is only for buses and lorries. The correct answer is B. You must not exceed the stated speed. Moving on to question number 10. Which car is breaking the law? Is it car B or car C or it's car A? The correct answer is C. 